Hey, what's up folks? Jay Barino here. I'm starting a new custom campaign for StarCraft 2. This is a silent scream created by Dat Gamer Sense, available on SC2 Mapster. I will put a link in the description. This is in progress. I believe there's three maps released, maybe four, I think three. I'm not sure, but this feedback for this campaign has been great so far. It is still in progress. I do plan on playing the first mission. I'll do the second and third mission in the upcoming weeks. Alrighty, fear no evil. Apparently in this campaign we are playing is the Taldarim. The background music is really pumping me up here. It's really pumping me up. Let's get going. So I don't really know much about this other than we're playing as the Taldarim, so I assume that means maybe we can use all the Taldarim units from the Taldarim faction in Legacy of the Void, or maybe it's just the Taldarim skins. Either one is really cool. Mind Control is a powerful ability. Use it at your advantage. What's great about a lot of the new campaigns coming out is we're seeing a lot of Protoss, Zerg, and Custom Race campaigns. Whereas when I started recording a lot of these custom campaigns, it seemed like most were Terran. Most, I would say like 75%, if not more, of all custom single-player scenario maps were Terran. And now we're seeing a big branch into specifically Protoss and some Zerg, which is just fantastic. I hope we see more of that. So, again, pretty good feedback so far on these maps, but I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'm assuming most of these have been bug-tested. Uh, you know, we'll see what we find. But for the most part, I'm just really looking forward to these. Research ship HMS Bulwark. Sector B. Sir, the Ennian pulse crystal we gathered on New Dalaran City was successfully placed into a containment field. It indeed appears to have unknown psionic powers. We will figure them out, though, eventually. Speaking of psionic powers, any news about the Protoss forces we met before? Negative, sir. They probably fled the system already. That's great. You're dismissed for now. Get back to work. Oh dear, those are definitely Taldarim units. Oh, it's Malash! Why is he a Dark Archon? We're in. Keep moving. Retrieve the Ennian Pulse Crystal from the Stasis Tube. Okay, so who cares who these Terrans are? First off, this campaign has already begun raising more questions than answers, but I like that. That's how you should start a campaign, you know, have the player wondering what's happening here, but then, you know, you get a little a little Easter egg here, who is Malash, where you're like, well, I know who Malash is, where the Taldarim, we're gonna, we're gonna just smash some face in, right? All right, so we've got Havox, they do have Force Field, and then Malash, what do you have? Squad Sight, which is the same thing, I believe, or the Havox do not have Squad Sight. They have the Target Lock, but not the Passive Squad Sight, Malash has it. Void Stasis, all right, that's on Autocast, that's fine. Mind Control is great, and then Crushing Grip. Okay, so V, R, and T. Let's get moving. We have uh, three vanguards, incredible, incredible units. Let's bump up the game speed a little bit. No option for uh, difficulty, by the way. All right, let's just get going, though. I've been, I've been blabbing enough. Malash can probably do some serious tanking here. That siege tank will decimate our forces. Let's see what I can do. Mind control at Malash. Do it! Wow, that is a very large... Yo, buddy, what's up? I'm going to say maybe we can save the, the tank. I don't think so. We can't quite hit these with crushing grip, unfortunately. Stupid Terrans. Yes, so we get to play as the Taldarim, and we can just be... We can just be zealously angry at everybody, and just be completely justified, because we are just religious nutjobs. I'm sorry, I don't mean that to offend anybody. Let's, uh, let's continue, though. Malash, how are you- how is your attack? 30. That's- that's pretty darn good. Okay, so again, we're gonna lead with Malash. Uh, I don't see an instance where we're gonna need Force Field, and then uh, we're gonna move in with these Immortals, too. The Immortals might be able to- yes, they can outrange the Bunkers because of Squad Sight. Oh, oh, it's so good. Uh, this faction is just so good. Let's just hang out here. Uh, this is probably a good crushing grip. Keep the Zealots back, we may need them later. Oh, he's got some range too, look at him. I'm still curious to know why Malash is a, a Dark Archon. This may be something we'll learn later, or maybe this is just a, a small suspension of disbelief that we need to have, which is okay. I assume this takes place before Legacy of the Void, just because Malash is dead, he was, he was kicked into the big uh, Taldarim Sparta pit. 
Okay, well, let's just let's just keep it up. Uh, we can kill all of this stuff with pretty much just the uh, just the vanguards and the lash. Hey there, fire you dumbasses! All right, I'm trying to let's mind control. We have a cyclone now. That's good. We're losing zealots. The opposite of what I wanted to happen. Move on up and kill this stuff. All right. Well, again, now we have a cyclone. Okay, we got the and the air upgrade as well. So this was where the siege tank was, I believe. Retrieve the Enya and Crystal is all we're supposed to be doing here. I feel like even if our even if our zealots die, as long as we can keep our uh, our Havocs alive, who could be helping at this point. And then obviously Malash. Malash uh, taking a quite a bit of damage. We might have to back him up a little bit. Keep in mind our vanguards do not have hardened shields or anything like that. Probably should just keep Malash back so he can get some shields. And I suppose I could also use a void, void prison if necessary. But let's go ahead and move on up. Quick save. Uh, yeah, sure, let's kill everything. I don't know if we have to kill everything, but we'll kill everything. Back up, buddy. Oh, it's so good. It's so good being able to just outrange everything. Uh, is there a ghost in there, or is that just the fire? No, that's just the fire. Okay, attack. And as long as we keep Malash in the back, these uh, vanguards will get their shields back fairly quick. Let's check what's up here. Anytime I start a new campaign, I, I like to be very, very thorough, because I like to get a handle on what the map maker's style is. Is this a map maker that might hide, like, a secret? A ma there are some map makers, they might, like, put, like, an Easter egg somewhere, and you click on it, and it'll even say, you found a secret! Some, you know, don't do that, which is fine. I'm definitely getting a Perfect Soldiers vibe, mostly from the mission launcher. Um, I did see, um, Dat Gamer Sense has, uh, had some form interactions with Avondel saying, you know, he's an inspiration for him and all that kind of stuff, so that's great. So I really look forward to this. All these brothers murdered, broken by the Iron Fist of the Terran. They shall pay for this. Fuck yeah, Malash, let's go. Malash, accept it. Stop fighting. What is that? That looked like a, like a blood hunter portrait. My past. Soon it will be no more. Oh, the Anion Pulse Crystal. If I'm correct, I think I'm, I'm, I might be way off here, but if anyone's read the Dark Templar trilogy of books, I thought the Anion Crystals, this area will be able to, will be useful to warp in allied units. We need to kill the enemy forces before, though. Okay, we can handle that. Um, the Anion Crystal, Pulse Crystal, I think, stores memories. And that was explained in the Dark Templar trilogy. It's not the, the same crystal as the one that Zeratul gave Jim Raynor in Winds of Liberty, I, Liberty, though, I don't think. Secure the West Outpost. Who is this fellow? Maybe that's the person that was talking to us. I see Reapers up there. I'd like to get rid of them. If we clear this outpost, we can use this spot to warp in allied units. Okay, so there's another place that we can warp in. The Cyclone is able to damage things from far away, too, as long as it locks on. Plus, it's got the sight range increase. Keep the Zealots back. That's crazy. Because the, the shots, the, the scatter cannons in flight will still land and hit the stuff that, that are inside the bunker. That's crazy. Malash already has his, uh, his shields back. Again, I'm being very thorough here. Probably more thorough than necessary, but... This is really cool. The terraining is nice. Uh... Very detailed map. I like it a lot. Uh, let's just hang it, hang back here. Maybe go ahead and mind control a Thor. We've got a siege tank, but then also a Thor. I'm yeah, I'm probably gonna want to take this Thor. Um, I don't want it to just instantly die though. We can we can move up with uh, Malash and the Havocs. Are they auto? They are auto casting the target lock. Let's just move. What is this? Oh, it's a Herc. <laughs> Those things are just so so long in the past. Okay, so let's keep inching up. Keep inching up. Okay, mind control the Thor. We got him. Let's move the Thor back. And let's just kind of keep it up. We can kill all this stuff and we can warp in some more units. This is great. Actually, let's just kill this bunker and then we can move in with our Zealots too that can provide some, some fire support. Back up, buddy. Okay, now everybody move on in. And we have a... We've got some good Terran units here. We want to keep building our forces with with mind control. Mind control, it's 100 energy. I feel like I, I got 100 energy back really, really fast. Outpost secured, warping and reinforcements. What are we gonna get? We strike as one. We got some stalkers, some Taldarim stalkers, AKA stalkers. Um. Okay, so this is good. Let's go ahead and secure the west outpost before we start pushing, I guess, through here. There's nothing, oh, this is, this is a ramp. Let's go and secure the west outpost too, though, just to kinda, bolster up our forces. And I'm also still getting a, an idea of how 
challenging these maps are going to be. Still, I'm not 100% sure yet, so that's why I'm taking my time being thorough. I don't want to lose a lot now, because again, there's, you know, some instances where something seems really easy and then gets really hard and you realize, oh, I needed a bunch of other units to do this, and I lost them all, so we'll see. Um, that, you know, stuff like that, I would argue, isn't good map design, but it's always good to check that first <laughs> to make sure that that is not the case. Back up, Vanguard. We don't want to lose you. Okay, and then we will be taking this Thor as it moves towards us. All right, grab him. Let's back up. Let's see if we can save this guy. Indeed. Okay, great. And then keep hitting this bunker. Malash, don't, don't take needless damage. Okay, great. And then every, let's just let's just move in an auto attack. Let's just bring everybody in. We have more than enough stuff. I'm being way too cautious. Being way, way, way too cautious. I mean, I have a feel for how this map is already. I like the feel of it. We have Malash. He's a really cool hero. Um, he has good abilities that aren't just absurdly overpowered. That's really important, too. Okay, let's get going. Outpost secured, warping, and more reinforcements. So let's check... We didn't check this out. We're at your service, Master. I never checked out in down in this area. There's predators. We're losing uh losing zealots. Not a big deal. Let's just let's just bust up all of this stuff. I guess I could steal some of these predators. They're already dead. Come on down here, we'll take this one. Sure. It's a predator, it's pretty neat. I guess that's why this is here, maybe just to steal some units. Malash's energy re regen is very high. We should just be we should just be mind controlling the crap out of everything. Um I guess let's try to bust our way up this ramp while we're at it. Lead with Malash, move on in. Let's just steal Marauders. Might as well just steal units if I could get a... If I could get a... Maybe a Medic or something, that'd be helpful. Either way, we're destroying all of this. And as long as we keep our Vanguards alive, I'm feeling pretty safe. Alright, so... This is done. Should I look for more stuff maybe over on the other side, or let's just go. Let's just go. Actually, well, Malash is kind of low. We could use, you know, by, at our walking time over there would secure our ability to I think very easily get his shields back slowly. Nah, okay, move on up. Hold position. I feel like this is kind of cheesy. I could just brute force this. Again, I like I like trying to keep my units alive. Keep in mind, the Tal Darim forces eventually will be consolidated and help us in our fight against Amon, so... Sure. If that's what I need to say to convince myself, sure. Okay, let's move on up. So what are these Terrans researching? I don't know. I have a feeling it's not gonna be... Well, it might be important, but I have a feeling it's gonna have to do with, uh... This whole thing with Malash wanting to get rid of his past. You know, he is now the Tal Darim leader, so his goal is to erase his... Erase whatever remnants may be there of his of his previous life and consolidate his power. Either way, we're we're gonna smash through this. Interesting how he's like talking to his past too. Not only that, but his like warriors can hear him talking to himself. <laughs> okay, let's keep on going. There is a short story about the Taldarim. I read it it was a while ago though. Alright, grab the Warhound. You are done. No, we're not. Okay, oh, look out. Kill that Cyclone. Malash uh, taking a little bit of health damage. I will serve. Okay, and uh, we gotta kinda hang out with Malash in the back now, because he's taking a little too much damage. Okay, let's go. We got another Thor up here that I'd like. Take him. Or take a tank. That's fine, too. Even though that tank just took some damage. So our goal is just to get to this bunker. Get them! Ooh, that's a lot of Reapers. Let's just get in there. This is also what Crushing Grip is for. If we can get up there. Oh, they're already dead. It doesn't even matter. You're fine, Malash. Let's just take this Warhound, too. Sure. Uh, some Spectres, too, I could take. Let's, uh, let's just move on in and take the Spectres. Take one of the Spectres, at least. If yeah, he's dead. Never mind. Whatever. Let's just get going. Now we're getting kind of low on energy. So we're gonna have to let that regen a little bit. We're in just fine shape, though. We're gonna smash through this base. Is there anything I want from this base? I'm thinking no, but let's just destroy it anyway, right? Just so we don't get flanked or some crazy shit. You heard about that mess of a war happening right now? Who's talking? What Marine is talking? I bet that red Protoss ball sack people... What? People spotted on New Delaran City had something to do with that. Red Protoss Ballsack people. 
Uh, possibly uh, he's referring to Malash because he is a, a big circle. I don't know. <laughs> he's a big sphere. Let's move on down here. And this is probably all we need to do unless the map is going to expand. Cool first mission, there's a big emphasis on mind control, which is great. I like, uh, I like missions that are sort of built around having to mind control strategic units. And Malash just has some pretty good abilities, but not to the point where he's overpowered, but he almost died. Malash? There we go. You thought it would be this easy? Guard, strike them down. I'll need to destroy this containment field. Warriors, protect me. Well, let's seize that tank. I probably should have taken more units. See, this is what I'm talking about. We needed units. Holding out. The crystal is protected by a containment chamber to protect its powerful radiations from flowing all over the ship. In order to retrieve it, Malash must destroy the chamber. Protect him until it's done. The number of red lights around the chamber will inform you about the progress. Okay. Uh, so we can't use his abilities. We are sieged up. It just depends on where they're going to come from. Probably all the different sides. Malash is getting his shields back. Oh, lordy, this has... Oh, no, it's these red lights. That's what I was talking about. I was going to say the progress is... Very slow, but then I realize it's not based on the HP. Alrighty, I'm ready. I see these units down here. Are these coming to attack me? Should they come and attack me? Can they even get down to me? No, they can't. I feel like these units were supposed to spawn perhaps down here. We have a red light. Yes, they're definitely spawning up here when I don't think they're supposed to, so I'm going to do something crazy. Let's stay up here. We're going to blink towards the edge, and then we're going to kill these units as they move toward me. Crazy, yes. We got some music here. All right, blink on down. Yeah, so this seems mildly bugged. Uh, obviously, I feel that these units are meant to spawn here, and they're supposed to be running up the ramps at me, but right now, uh, not really any problems. What I would recommend for this section, too, is maybe allow Malash to still mind control while uh, while this is going on, just in case, because again, you might get to this section and then realize, oh, I didn't mind control enough, and you just wouldn't have enough units to, to complete this, which could be very frustrating, but you'd have to reload a save and you know so on and so forth, but for now, all these units are just kind of here. Uh, the lights are still going, though. Okay, here come some actual units. Let's kill these. The cyclones don't bother me too much. They do a lot of damage over a long period of time, but we kill them fast enough. Kill that glowing ball right now, you fuckers. Language. The language. Uh, do we have barrage cannon? No. But it might be a good idea to allow him to mind control just so you can bolster your forces once this is going. Though, I don't know, um, that might make it too easy, so it's kind of hard to balance that, you know, use your discretion. I seem to be doing okay, but if I would have had to kill all of this stuff, I may have been in slight trouble. You know, again, they were supposed to, I assume, spawn down here. Okay, so waiting for the last lights. Here comes one more group. Yeah, so, so these attacks are, are fairly, uh, fairly large, and I'm not really sure what kind of micro I honestly could be doing. We have succeeded. I quite like the cinematics so far, though. We have some cinematic battles happening. Good camera work at the beginning as we were watching through that little window with the station commander talking to the, the people working there. It's pretty neat. Looks really good. Holy shit! That looked awesome! I can feel the power again. Thousands of voices screaming. The crystal was successfully retrieved. We can continue with our mission. Are our forces strong enough, though? Are they? Perhaps the next mission will be bolstering our forces to do whatever Malash is doing. So what is Malash's goal? It opens the door to a lot of cool different things. And I'm liking this a lot so far. The cinematic work was good. Camera work with the cinematics. Um, the gameplay, again, other than that M part, it just seemed like those units spawned in poor places. And I would say that maybe something needs to be done just to make sure that 
the it could get frustrating because the end section is less about skill and more about did they get enough units early on? Did they steal enough units early on to put up a fight against those very large numbers of units? So assuming that the side groups spawn properly and then trigger to attack towards Malash, would you have enough units? And it might come down to the wire. It's really hard to say. Um, I'm not sure. Again, I guess use your discretion. I think it's pretty good the way it is. I mean, people have tested it. I just didn't really get a good enough example of how it could work just because those units on the sides weren't coming in. And it seemed like there were a ton of them only because they were clumping up because they weren't running in and dying. So I guess it's hard for me to, to make that decision. But terraining was very nice. Attention to detail on this map for sure. I like the portraits. They're all red. Everything has the Teldream skins. We can use Teldream units. Very, very cool. So I look forward to playing more of this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.